Good evening, everybody. Rob here at WesternPacificWeather.com. It is currently going on 1100 Japan Standard Time, 10 or Hong Kong time, or right around 14 Zulu for the rest of you worldwide in a, a very uh, busy day out there today and a very destructive day overall. We got two landfalling storms this evening. One just made landfall in the past several hours, and another one expecting to make landfall in tomorrow morning here in Southeast China and already causing much destruction here in Southeast China and in Taiwan as well up here for Maggie. But right now, we're going to go first and foremost over here to Giri, or uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced, 04 Bravo, Bravo for uh, Bay of Bengal raid right in this region here, making landfall in Burma in the past several hours, a very strong Category 2 cyclone, the, uh, the equivalent of a Category 4 hurricane in the Atlantic, making landfall in Burma in the last several hours, right around the uh, Burma's the West Arakan State here in this region, and this is a very uh, dangerous situation here, we're going to zoom in on this uh, satellite picture, showing the visible image right at landfall, very well defined eye here, and just to the uh, right front quadrant here definitely expecting to see a very strong storm surge in this entire region the uh, obs out of this area are sketchy at best really not seeing too many obs and also news sources in this entire region I uh, really ain't seeing too much come out of it as well so if anybody does get any information from on the ground in this region I haven't had any reports of anybody actually getting any message or anything from out of this region as well so anybody does get any reports please uh, pass it on to me a very strong and destructive storm and the big thing I got to worry about this storm is that it blew up very fast in the past 24 to 36 hours. It was a really weak system at first, and it started to blow up and move uh, to the north here, east here, actually expecting to make landfall as a tropical storm. But in the last 24 hours, wind shear let up, and the system made its way over some very warm waters, and it blew up rather fast, up to about 135 knots, gusting up to 165 knots at this time per JTWC. Expecting that to rapidly decrease over Burma here, but the downfall of that is as it's rapidly decreasing. All this moisture shown in this upper level cloud is right in here is going to be dropping over Burma so a very dangerous situation out of this Good news though, it is south, uh, southeast of the uh, Ganges River Delta up in here, right around uh, Ganges River Delta in Bangladesh, right in this region, which we all know from 1970, one of the uh, worst natural disasters in history, killing about almost uh, upwards of uh, 500,000 people with a cyclone that made landfall in this region. So definitely good news that it's making landfall southeast of there, but still a very strong storm that just kind of snuck up on Burma here and a very uh, poor infrastructure structure throughout this region as well. So looking for some good news out of that region, but right now it looks like a very grim situation for that. And also thank you to my friends at Storm 2K for pointing this out. The system is actually going to be possibly stronger than Cyclone on Nargis in 2008, which was a, a very destructive storm and actually the worst natural disaster in uh, Burma history right in here. Per GRTWC, the storm's actually about 15 knots faster at landfall than that storm was. So overall strongness out of the storm and destructive force has been forecast to slightly higher. So And also the uh, tense of rapid rapid intensification out of this as you can see on the satellite picture actually forming from basically nothing up to this a uh, very strong system with a very intense eye wall in the past 36 hours is really noted on the sat loop right in here but I'd like to talk more about that though but we're got to move out here to the uh, southeast coast of China and also in Taiwan here where we already have a storm making landfall up in this region the outer rain bands making landfall actually and already causing very destructive situations out here in southeast China and our reports of deaths here in Taiwan so we're actually going to zoom in on the empty sat shot here. Showing the storm get wrapped up in this uh, stationary front farther up to the north here. But also noting that a lot of the moisture along the northern periphery has been lost. Very good news as far as the flood damage up in this region. But still seeing some of these uh, strong outer rain bands make its way through Taiwan today. And already reports of massive flooding. And uh, several reports of landslides out of that region with a few dozen deaths already. And over uh, about 200 tourists had to be evacuated. About 100 actually had to be airlifted around one landslide up in this region but here's an actual video out of there showing the uh, widespread uh, destruction out of that region and, and this was actually uploaded by no comment TV right in here and just showing the massive amount of rainfall so as already noted in previous updates the uh, wind damage in Taiwan is definitely not going to be the uh, highest effect in that region it was actually the mass amount of rainfall and landslides and flooding damage throughout that region and just shown clearly on this video it's still a very dangerous situation there and Maggie even days after landslides in the Philippines still causing widespread destruction so just this is going to be one of those storms to know in uh, times to come here in the future.
but the situation really is not over quite yet here in Taiwan. You can actually see the eye wall very clear on radar imagery out of Taiwan here, and also still some of these outer rain bands that moved through the area earlier today here. Actually, you see some of these outer rain bands, you look at it at first glance, and you go, oh, those don't look too bad because not actually over the island. Well, that's because this portion of the outer rain band right in here actually got rained out over southwest Taiwan, so a very dangerous situation out there, as you can see with that. And also still some outer rain bands farther up to the north here, plus that stationary front up to the north he east here is definitely not helping out as that's actually pumping some moisture into the storm as well but the good news is that we're actually going to see this move into the Taiwan Strait gradually weaken as doing so but eventually it is going to be making wet uh, landfall here in southeast China shown on the JTWC track here gradually weakening and making landfall right around noon tomorrow so good news is that it's, it looks like it's going to be making landfall still as a weak typhoon bad news is though the wind field with this system the tropical storm force wind field still extends out several hundred kilometers so still going to see some gusty winds up near Taipei as is going to be CPA that city by around uh, 185 nautical miles but also uh, still pretty good distance away from Hong Kong still might see some outer rain bands from there but still the very grim situation as far as rain is concerned Southeast China doesn't need any more rain been seeing some major flooding here the past several months and also you did see several uh, the last typhoon just moved Taiwan through Taiwan here is causing ma massive uh, landslides and flooding throughout this entire island so this just really compounds the situation so very sad situation out there I know we got a lot of viewers here in Taiwan so please pass along your story and in for your information as well and thank you for everybody in that area as so far has been passing the information to me and while we're still on the fact of Maggie here the uh, death toll in the Philippines is actually climbed to 26 people now so still a very sad situation out of there and plus Maggie with his slow movement off to the north here is still forming up some outer rain bands clear out here with some info going over the Philippines enhanced by mountains in this region it definitely compounds on the already damaged area up here in northern Luzon you still got some massive rain showers and thunderstorms falling on the area so really not catching too much of a break there in Luzon but as we uh, look at this system here looking out and now I know all eyes are on the future as well we still have another storm out here not getting too much of a break that is tropical depression 16 W here looks like it actually gonna start moving west here in the next several days the wind shear along the northern periphery of the system actually should start lighting up and you're actually going to start seeing some organization out of this system and also we have 17 whiskey farther up to the north here now this is a very widespread storm very very disorganized and soon enough it's going to run into this trough up here this little stationary front so this one's really discounted at any development you can kind of see you don't even know where the storm is on this satellite image right here but looking down towards 16 whiskey and actually look at the track here this uh, JTWC has a gradually intensifying up to a tropical storm, a very weak typhoon possible out in the long range here. But as it starts to recurve more, though, it looks like it might actually start to gather some extra tropical organization in it. But right now, though, JTWC does have it pointing at Okinawa. That's basically in the long range. Basically, uh, this is more of a political move likely to so Okinawa can kind of get prepared for the storm. But still, you do have this wide cone of range right through this area all the way away from the uh, Philippine Sea all the way out past uh, some of the northern Rio Islands out in this region definitely need to uh, watch this storm very closely Shown on the streamline analysis here, the storm is going to be drifting off to the uh, northwest following the uh, tropical ridge right in this region and likely going to recurve around it through, right through this area right in here as you can kind of follow the arrows going up this way towards north towards uh, Okinawa, eventually uh, Kyushu and up near the uh, main island of Honshu here. So actually I believe that this will actually take a similar track that Malacca's did a few weeks ago traveling up towards just skirting over Okinawa and up skirting the uh, eastern coast of Honshu here but it does look like it's going to be as intense as as that typhoon was so very good news right now but definitely if I was anywhere here in the Ryukyu Islands would be watching a storm very closely in the next several days but that is all for this evening, everybody. A very busy day out there and a very sad and dangerous day for all the way from uh, Cyclone Geary to Mega here and all the way out to a 16 ski here in the future. So if you have any further questions, though, you can field them to me at westernpacificweather.com. Also, if you can't get a hold of me, check storm2k.org. They have a thread on every single one of these storms and some very good meteorological discussions coming out of that area as well. So I actually want to thank some of those people there. They've been feeding me some information, so I actually, actually provide this to uh, YouTube and to the website here as well. So a very uh, dangerous situation out there. Every everybody and uh, please have a good and safe night. I'll likely have another update again by tomorrow morning. So thank you. Bye.